We need a car so we can go rock climbing. Rock climbing? Why would anybody go climb a rock? Man, things are changing. I remember when men were men and women were gals and we called colors colors. You know, actually, we're, I think we're going to get going. Hey, come on, sweetie. You know, don't be a bitch. Let's talk some numbers here. Hey, hey, hey. Don't talk to my wife like that. Hey, boy. I fought in the big war. I mean, nobody tells me what to do. You understand? Hold this. You can expect some real hate mail over this, but it needs to be addressed, and it's needed to be addressed for a long time. In fact, I might even get some thank yous for addressing it because it's something that we just kind of sweep under the rug and act like it doesn't exist. There is a serious hatred, deeply rooted hatred in, this, in, in America for our black people. The majority, or at least half, despise us, white people. As far back as I can remember, I have always felt intimidated by them. I have had wonderful black people in my life. Growing up, I loved the Cosby Show. Um, I've had black friends day to night when I was a kid. I mean, it was totally normal. But I've found, as I've grown up um, more in my you know later years that there are deeply rooted problems between us. There is a double standard among us. Uh, and I'll tell you one experience I had. When I was, um, I don't know, it was probably about five years ago, I was going to work at, as a clerk at this um, grocery store. I couldn't think of the word. And we were going through this training class. I was expected to wear a white collared shirt like this and black pants and black shoes. Well, this woman walked in, black woman, and she was wearing black slippers, black pants, and like a fruit of a loom white, like white t shirt. Would you believe that nobody said anything to her? Nobody said, you know what? That's out of dress code. You're going to have to go home and change because. Know, I asked this of you, and you're supposed to show up like this. There was none of that. And that brings me to the conclusion that we for so long have been trying to make up for the past. So instead of addressing it in a healthy way and just having open dialogue about it, we tippy-toe, tippy-tippy-toe around the facts of what exists. We tippy-toe around the racial chip on their shoulders. It's not acceptable to me anymore. We shouldn't even accept ask to substitute ask. Let me ask you a question. No. No. That's inexcusable. I'm sorry. We're in America. Speak English. I hope that this meets your ears in a positive way, and maybe from this we can develop a healthy relationship. Um, but I, I can tell you this right now, I refuse any longer to tippy-toe around your feelings. We're all created equal, therefore I'm going to talk to you no different than I would talk to my white, Mexican, Indian friends. I would talk to you no different. And I'm sorry if you take something I said offense, because it wasn't directed as offensive. But the problem is, is, we live in such a politically correct world that if something's slightly misconstrued, we're a racist. We're hung out to dry as racists. You know what? I don't like Barack Obama. And no, it's not, because he's black. And from now on, I'm going to say it like it is. There is such a double standard in this country because we're so afraid to address the facts. The facts are this. Look at Detroit. Detroit has about 82% black people there. Black population. Do you have any idea how run to the ground that city is? <clears throat> and from my understanding, it was all because of a mayor that just wanted to get even with the white man, so he pretty much ran that place down to the ground. 
with the exception of other, other factors like the big three, that was a huge factor. But the problem is, there was no respect. There's no respect for the white man. There's no respect, there's no thankfulness of what the white man has done for you. You know what? I didn't cause your problems, and I can't fix them. So quit blaming me. Um, guys, I hope that you understand where I'm coming from. If you're black and you took offense to this, like I said, I'm not going to apologize anymore. I'm just speaking the truth. The truth how I see it. This is how I interpret things. This is how I perceive the reality of white America to be. Us being ostracized, maybe because we're successful. Um, and constantly, that race card being pulled out by Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson. Are you kidding me? Those guys, they're more useless than bull with tits, okay? Uh, had enough of it. And I'm sure you feel the same way. I think there will be a revolution in this country. Um, last night, um, when I was trying to post all my shit using my phone, showing my crib and whatnot, but um, I'm kind of curious um, if it's okay um, in the eyes of the black community for white people um, again this is on race I don't know why that's all I make all my videos are on race but um if it's okay for white people to um, um be a part of a movement like white power um I guess I really don't know anything about white power but I guess um my question I guess really is is it okay to be in your eyes as a black community is it okay for white people to be proud of their own race, just like black people are allowed to be proud of their race? So if anybody would chime in, I'm going to prefer um, comments or a video response from somebody that's black because from a white person, they'll probably disagree with me and think that it's okay. But I want, I'm going to kind of want to get a, a video response or a text from um, somebody of color because I'm proud to be white um, I don't know if I'd go so far as to say I would join white power or again I don't even know what that really stands for or what it means I am proud to be white I think white people have done like a lot of races like all races um, have done great things for the world that we live in and over the last hundred years, especially here in America, um, tremendous things, and white people continue to do tremendous things, uh, so um, I guess my question is, this isn't very articulate, but um, because I'm drinking as usual, <coughs> but um, just the, the, the black people, Indian people, um, who are, whomever, um, think it's acceptable to be proud that you're white and um, what the white race has brought to the world and society in general. So I'm um, just kind of interested to post a video, post a text, whatever. I'm not like the real AIX or um, some other people that uh, delete comments have censorship. You can say whatever you want. You can call me bad, cracker, honky, whatever. It's not going to really ruin my day. So say what you want. Alright, I'm out. A regional black newspaper. He refused to run. They were yelling, run, nigger, run. And he, only thing I heard him say, I fought for my country in the war and I'm not running for, from you. And he didn't run. He walked. Pictures of Alex Wilson are wired to every paper in the nation and around the world. 
At the height of the Cold War, the image of the United States as the defender of liberty is seriously tarnished.